Today we're going to find out if this Anchor Portable Power Station can power and charge this Nissan LEAF. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, today we have this Nissan LEAF and we're going to get into the car here and I want to see how long we can take one of these portable power packs with us and see if it's actually going to allow us to go extra miles since our Better on this Nissan Leaf is not too good. On a full charger, we get about 40, 45 miles, and you can see we're at up, and you can see we're at nine miles because we're at low. But I wanted the battery low to see how good this portable power pack can do for us. So I'm going to back up here. We're going to take this to our workshop area because that's where we got our portable power pack, and we're going to plug her up and see how much more of a battery life we can get when we charge our portable power pack in, right? So let's get into the workshop here and let's test this out. All right, we got our doors open. We're driving into our store and you can see our miles are just bumped up to 10. So it looks like it was pretty close to that nine. So we're gonna say roughly 10. So now let's go ahead and get us in park and we're gonna go ahead and exit the vehicle, power off, our car, we're gonna eject our plug-in at the front so we can plug in our charger. And our charger is actually here in the back. We got our charger in our bag, so it's gonna open that up. It is not the standard uh, Nissan charger, it's made by Bogue RV. So let's go ahead and pull that out. We're gonna bring that to the front here of our car. And let's see if our charger is already open, awesome. So our charging port, this is your charging port for a Nissan Leaf. If you don't have one, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. We got our charger here. Now this is a, uh, this can actually do different levels of charging. You can do level one, level two, uh, if you got a 240 plug. But of course we're not doing 240, we're just doing the standard 120, so that's where we got this adapter on here. So we're doing that 110. And then uh, we're gonna plug this in first, and then we'll plug that into our vehicle. So today we're working with the Anchor. This is about 1500 VA battery in it. We're going to make sure it's powered on. We're going to turn off power saving mode. We're going to turn on our AC outlets. We're turned on. We're going to go ahead and plug in our adapter here for our car. You can see it's already powering on. That's plugged in. We're good to go. So now we can take our cap off of our charger. All right, we got a cap off. We're going to plug it right in like you normally would. So this is kind of a, a portable setup. I mean, if you're out and about and you got no charging station and maybe you have one of these, uh, and you can put in the back of your car and you got a charging adapter with you. You can see it's running and we're pulling about 1800 watts. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> we'll see how quickly this battery goes for that. Uh, but you can see we are charging. We got the blinky light in there, letting you know the charging status of the car. And you can probably already dropping down. Yeah, I see it's already 99%. I'm sure it's gonna drop a lot quicker because I mean, using 1800 watts, that's a lot of power. Uh, we'll see how much we'll get out of a charge. Like I said, you saw we were at uh, 10 miles. So let's see how many more miles we get after uh, using this Anchor portable power station to charge it. So you can see we got about 30 minutes. Um, it's saying remaining on the battery. So we're coming back in about 30 minutes or so to see uh, how much charging uh, we were able to gain out of this. So we just came back to check on the uh, status of the portable power. You can see we got one notch. So that's a good sign. I don't know if you saw a video, it was only blinking the one. So now we're up to the halfway mark, but it's still blinking that halfway mark. It's at 46%, so it's been almost 20 minutes. So yeah, this remaining time is pretty accurate. So we got about 45% uh, of the battery left. Let's see what happens when this thing is completely dead and see how many more miles we gain by charging this EV Nissan Leaf. All right, you guys, we're back. You can see we are not 2% battery. Uh, it's about to get everything off here. Um, but we'll be able to log into the car now and see how many miles we gain with what not even 30 minutes of charging here and See how many miles we gained off this uh, anchor portable power Of course, I would only use something like this in an emergency I would keep this in the back of the car maybe and if we are running low on charging There's no charging station or something like that You can emergency kind of hook this up in a parking lot and just plug it in and then maybe hook up a chain to it and chain it to your tire so no one can steal it while you go maybe in to a store or whatever and to maybe lock up your cable, you can take a big padlock and padlock around this to a cable that connects to that and then maybe another cable from that over to your tire so then someone can't steal your cable either. Cause I mean, these are 
some of these cables are two, three, four hundred dollars. So you don't want someone trying to steal your cable uh, either. So I just heard it kicked off, saying it's got one percent. So it's probably doing that. So that you can still Bluetooth into this device and still connect to it. But we're going to unplug our car and unplug it from the car here, since it just died. And now let's go into the car and see how much, how many miles we got up for just from that 30 minute charge. Now keep in mind, it was only 30 minutes, so that's not very long, especially if you're hooked up to 110. So let's see where we're at. Wow, I am actually surprised. That's actually not bad. In 30 minutes, you can get about 11 miles, roughly, maybe 12, um, since we were kind of like on that threshold of nine. But that's not bad. So this is actually, I was kind of surprised. I thought it was gonna be like maybe five or something like that. Uh, but we actually got 11. So that's actually not not bad at all. Um, so let's say you're out and about and you need to get to a charging station and it's about 10 miles away. Well, you, hey, you got this portable station here, hook it up, wait about 30 minutes, and even less, it was about 25 minutes. And you can get at least an additional uh, 11 miles out of this thing. So this was actually a success. This is definitely gonna be in the back of my electric car. So, so if I'm out and I can't get home or wherever I need to go, I got an extra 11 miles just by bringing this little box here, which is, that's not bad, that's pretty good. So if you guys buy and order a Nissan Leaf, you might wanna have one of these in the back because the batteries in these things, you know, over time they, they go low and lower miles. So here's something you can bring that's portable. You can hook it up to your car and get a couple more, you know, get about, not a couple miles, but get like 10, 12 miles more out of it. Hope this video was helpful, you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.